For the past seven years, young and old have turned out on February 17th at Martyrs Square in Tripoli, waving flags to celebrate what they hoped would be a new beginning. Gaddafi is gone, but many of their dreams have not materialized. The initial euphoria is a distant memory. The lives of ordinary Libyans are increasingly complicated. Inadequate health care, rampant inflation, cash shortages. Fuel also is a problem in this oil-rich nation. On the political level, little has changed since the turbulent days of 2011. Armed groups are a sign of deep divisions and of the difficulty facing the current unity government to actually govern. The UN-backed government of national accord has very little command and control over Tripoli, where it's, it is reliant on um, its alliances with local armed groups. Beyond that, it has even less. Despite this, the UN has an ambitious plan to stabilize Libya by holding parliamentary and presidential elections this year. It is off to a slow start. There are several electoral conditions. For the moment, we have only achieved one, the beginning of voter registration. With the various militias heavily armed, much as they were in 2011, observers are skeptical and concerned. The conditions aren't in place for them to take place properly. There won't be, nobody could guarantee the security across the country. How could um, the, the UN guarantee that the actors involved would accept the results, whatever happened? Unlike seven years ago, there is little reason to celebrate these days. For Libyans, it is a daily struggle to live with the reality of an extremely fragmented country. International experts say it will take much effort to bring the unity and peace that, for Libyans, exists only in their dreams. Sabina Castelfranco for VOA News, Rome.